Hi there. This is going to be a quick video about some of the updates to the unit. It's not the video I intended on doing, but it is a good opportunity for me to show you how the unit can evolve and will continue to evolve over the years. As you can see at the top there, the lights are not strapped in. And there is a quite a long bar thing across the top. About two or three weeks ago, it was my birthday, and my other half got together with my family and a few members of her family to buy me a soundbar, which is a great upgrade from the very old worn out surround sound that I was using. But getting it in wasn't that easy. Initially, I'd thought about putting it between, if I move this up, between the Mega Drive and the CD32, and yes, the Atari 2600 and the Sega Master System have been removed for the time being. So I wanted to put it between there, but it, it won't fit, as you can tell. So I did think about putting a different top on. And I used a couple of scraps of wood to try. Um, it moved the Mega Drive over and the CD32 over, and it did fit, but I didn't like how that made the unit look. I thought it made it too top heavy. So I decided to go back to cutting it into the unit now, in order to do that, I needed to remove the top, which meant I needed to take the lights off. Each one of those lights is held in by a little cable pin, which is a little nail with a plastic bit on it that holds cables in. But each one of those fairy lights is held in one of these. Each one. There are 500 on this strand, so <laughs> that's a lot of pins. Uh, thankfully, I only had to remove... A handful. The next step was to then remove the top. Now each cube has a hole in the top back corner which leads to the next cube for the fairy lights to go through. But the fairy lights were put in without any kind of thought of taking the top off again. So it wasn't easy. They didn't want to give the top up. In fact I didn't actually manage to get the top off. I just managed to get it out of the way enough for me to cut into the unit. Now those three verticals have had notches cut out just big enough for the soundbar and the cross member across the top has been chopped to fit the soundbar in its place. So I got it in there and there are still a few more things I need to do. Um, I want to put some felt pads around the wood just to protect the soundbar and obviously I need to put the lights back up and tidy it up. But it's in there, and it's much better. But this video takes place of the one I was going to do, which, if I go up to the top, it's going to be about this board along the back of the TV. And the board on the back of the TV is there to hold the speakers, which are no longer there, the SCART select boxes, and the component select box. So that's what those all those dots are. They're actually pins you can push through to select which SCART you want or which component you want. But I'm going to have to redo all of that because those surround sound speakers are no longer there. And in fact on the top there's no third speaker and the old surround sound has been removed from the top which does make the unit look a lot cleaner. So that was a quick video, it was a quick video, uh, about this unit and how it's going to evolve and I will do some more videos about it uh, I'll do another one about the cabling um, at some point I will obviously do the redo the top and do that again um, but for now I'm going to leave it <laughs> if you have any comments um, or questions please leave them below um, don't forget to subscribe like this video and you can also follow me on Instagram um, I do upload a lot of pictures from this unit and from my collection uh, and hopefully you'll find that as interesting as you do these videos thank you see you again